Hello everyone, welcome again. So in this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can get the free version of Confluence Cloud and how you can register for Confluence Cloud. So let's get started. So here I am on the Confluence website, so Atlassian website basically. So if you simply, you know, uh, Google Confluence. So if you say, let me go to google.com and I'll navigate from there. So uh, here, from here, you just search for Confluence and go to the Atlassian website, right? So Confluence uh, will be the search here. Click on it and from this particular page, you will see that you have the option for get it free, okay? So either you can click on get it free here or here and uh, if you want to get pricing detail you can click on pricing or simply scroll, scroll down on this page and you can see the cloud pricing here okay so confluence is free for up to 10 users okay so if you are using if you are using confluence for 10 users uh, below 10 users it will be free forever there is uh, you know no other uh, thing that you need to do so basically that's the best part of it so if you want to get started simply click on the free tier and click on get started now this tutorial series is focusing totally on the cloud version so i'll be signing up for the cloud version of it so there are server and data center version but that is not what will be covered as part of this series uh, but because the look and feel of the confluence is uh, almost you know like similar it uh, doesn't matter, you know, you are using cloud version or the cloud uh, or the server version. There are changes in the in the look or the UI. But if you understand one product or if you understand, understand the cloud version, then it won't be much difficult to pick any other, you know, if you're using data center or server version. There will be a little bit difference in the UI. But if you want, if you know the functionality, you can navigate through that pretty easily okay so here you have the option of free tier and you can either use your google account to basically sign up or you can sign up with an email okay so i'll do uh, it using the google account so i'll continue with google and uh, this will be a bit quick so i'll simply use my google account to sign up right so it is pretty simple so i'll use my google email and it will ask for the authorization so now here you will see that uh, it will create an account so it will uh, you know take the full name from the google account automatically and i simply have to click on create your account okay so i'll click on create your account and it will do all the setup for me automatically so i don't have to do anything else so you can see that it is checking few things preparing the site for me and once the site will be prepared i'll be redirected to my site it takes a little bit time and now you can see we are on let's get started page right so the next thing you have to do is you have to provide your site name okay so whatever site name you want so for example you are a team or you are a company so you provide your company's name right so for example I can provide something like RCV Academy okay so uh, because uh, I've already taken it um, I have to provide RCV Academy 2 or RCV Academy 1 let's see one is available yeah RCV Academy 1 is available and then I'll be able to access my confluence on rcvacademy.atlassian.net okay so if I click on continue so it's preparing my site so now here if you see what does your team do so here you can you know uh, help us set up your team for success so here i can provide you know what exactly my key team is or basically what whether i'm you know from human resources finance etc so you can specify that so we'll choose software development and i'll click next and then you have to choose the role okay so i'll say uh, you know qa manager there and then you can provide the details of the first space okay so i'll cover the concept of the first space but here i'll say as of now i'll just say first space or first sample 
or demo space okay so just provide the name and it will create your first sample space and it is uh, structuring the contents and pages so now the next step is basically to invite your team members so as of now you know you can add the email addresses of your team members and invite the members so as of now i'll skip this step so i'll simply click on next so now if you see on the first demo space that space that we got uh, that we created during the sign up and here i can add a page there all right so now it's loading and you can see that i am on the confluence display here and i have some, you know like learn the basics so you can uh, go through the details here if you want uh, we'll anyways cover in the tutorial and in the left hand side you will see the confluence logo here and if you click on it will it will redirect you to the confluence home right so on the confluence home you have the confluence available and then if you click on this you know little icon here so you have the option to try uh, you know jira software so you can try jira software for free as well so if i click on jira software from here then it will configure jira software for me as well okay so i can click on try now and it will configure from here or even while installing confluence you can install it so as of now what we had what we did is we didn't install jira software together with confluence so we can do it later so if you click on you know here you can click on try from here and install jira software or you can directly let me search for confluence and if i go to confluence installation page again and from here if i click on get it free so here you can see that i can select the second product okay so along with confluence i can select either jira software or jira service management so confluence goes uh, together with you know you can have either jira software or you can select jira service management and jira it doesn't matter whichever tool you choose so for example i choose jira software in this case then both of these will be installed automatically for me confluence along with jira software okay now uh, in in both of these cases so either i select confluence standalone or confluence with jira software both of them will be free up to 10 users and the storage that has been mentioned here okay now because i chose the another option that is available for the installation that is why it only installed confluence in this particular case and i'll walk you through so i scroll down and from the pricing section of the cloud version so a little bit so it's still loading so if you click on here and you install from here it didn't give us that option to choose second product right so if from here it will only install confluence for you so from here you can see it is cloud free and it is not allow or it is not providing you option to basically choose other product so the best option is basically to you know if you just want confluence to install go through the pricing section or you know if you want to install both at once go simply click on this get it free or you know click on this get it free or click on get it free at the top and then you will get the option to select the second product so if you select second product it will be installed if you don't only confluence will be installed right uh, in case you haven't selected the second product you can simply install one and then from these you know little icon here you can simply click on it and go to jira software and install from here okay so either if you want jira software along with confluence click on it or if you want jira service management then click on service management and install with confluence so this course will be confluence course along with jira software so i'll install jira software as well so i'll click on jira software and i'll click on try it now so here if you see you know i can uh, invite everyone from this particular website and if you see the billing so how will this affect my bill 
so i can go to pricing and plans and it will still be free all right so still shows that up to 10 users it will be always free okay so if you see the cloud version here if you scroll down this is 2 gb uh, you know community support and this will be free up to 10 users right so it is zero so as far as you are within 10 user limit you can you know go ahead and install this as well so i'll skip this as of now invitation okay so now this has installed jira software as well and i can go to jira software so now you can see that rcb academy onelassiannet and it's on onboarding software which is jira software and confluence is wiki home so that's the url for the confluence and this is loading jira software okay so here you can invite the team members i'll skip is, uh, this as of now and this will ask to set up your jira so you, i'll say you know i'm you know you can choose new to if you're completely new to jira or you experienced with jira and then experienced or new based on so if you want to provide the details there and then click on next and it will set up jira for you right so these are some of the you know templates that are available in jira software so let's choose a scrum template and i'll say rcb demo project and let's quickly create a project in jira software as well so now you can see jira software has been installed as well at the same instance or the location and if i click on this icon here now i should be having the confluence along with jira so now you can see that i have jira software and confluence installed okay so this is uh, basically you know how we'll be installing confluence along with jira software because we'll be learning confluence and jira software integration as well okay so initially we'll be focusing totally on confluence and then in later part of this tutorial series we'll be learning about confluence with jira integration and how both of these tools go hand in hand all right so that's all for this tutorial on configuring or installing uh, confluence cloud version configuring uh, it uh, you know configuring your site and then installing jira software in the same instance all right so that's it for this particular tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching